Hey everyone, me Kevin here. Bitcoin to the moon. In fact, that's what I was screaming in my HOA today, and I'll show you that video clip, and then we'll get into some positive catalysts, negative catalysts, and some of the other things that are happening in the world of Bitcoin. Take a look at this. Here we go. Bitcoin to the moon! Bitches! <laughs> Told ya. Bitcoin to the moon. All right, buckle up. And while we'll talk about 150K Bitcoin in just a moment, let's get through some of these positive catalysts. But the list is long, so buckle up. United Wholesale Mortgage Company. I have interviewed the CEO on this channel. Take a look. Meet Kevin, United Wholesale Mortgage Company. Became the first mortgage company to take a crypto mortgage payment. However, they have paused their pilot, citing regulatory concerns for now. Stay tuned, though. Network effects of Bitcoin and low beta are obviously traditional reasons we like Bitcoin as well as potentially an inflation hedge, which has led Paul Tudor Jones, the billionaire hedge fund manager and the person who calls inflation, quote, the single biggest threat to financial markets, end quote, to say that he is using Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation. When I surveyed those of you who follow me on Twitter at RealMeetKevin, about 48% of you agree that Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies in general serve as an inflation hedge as your primary reason for investing in cryptocurrencies. ARK Invest and 21 shares, that's a firm, 21 shares, are partnering for a Bitcoin futures ETF themselves. This comes after Kathy Wood herself can, uh, questioned some of the tax implications of a Bitcoin futures ETF. Remember, a Bitcoin futures ETF does not actually hold Bitcoin. They hold contracts, commodity-related contracts. And if you are not familiar with the consequences of long-term holding futures ETFs, especially regarding concepts like Contango, and backwardation, you probably don't want to buy a futures ETF. Right now, on top of that, Bitcoin futures ETFs are trading at about a 15% premium to the actual value of Bitcoin. That's on top of the asset management fee, which there is fortunately some competition coming for asset management fees. Right now, we've got BITO. This is the first uh, publicly traded Bitcoin futures ETF trading with an expense ratio of 0.95, just under 1%. But VanX, ticker XBTF, not yet listed, but expected within the next week, has an expense ratio of just 0.65. Kathy Wood does believe that Bitcoin could provide the three big needs for money, as she talked about in an interview at an investment conference this week. She says that Bitcoin can easily provide a unit of account, a store of value, and be a medium of exchange. Art Laffer also says that Bitcoin, and this is a reference that Kathy Wood made, uh, referencing, again, Art Laffer and what he's previously said. Art Laffer says that Bitcoin meets the rules-based monetary policy that we need. Anyway, Coinbase is planning to launch its NFT marketplace by the end of 2021 to compete with OpenSea and some of the other NFT marketplaces. Then there's a bank in Switzerland that is licensed by the Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority that is actually offering its clients the opportunity to generate rewards from their crypto investments. It's pretty bullish. The SEC also approved the Volt Crypto Industry and Tech ETF, and they expect to hold crypto mining, mining equipment, or just crypto holding companies directly in an exchange traded fund. So that way, companies like MicroStrategy or maybe some of the other miners would potentially all fall under this ETF. That would be bullish for those particular companies. Then our friend Vlad defended cryptocurrencies amid increased criticism from regulators around the world, specifically in China, but also in the Bank of England, which we'll talk about the Bank of England in just a moment, saying that cryptocurrencies have the right to exist. And I want to be clear that when I say Vlad, I don't mean the Robin Hood Vlad. I mean Vladimir Putin of Russia. And the finance minister of Russia has also stated that there are no plans for a crypto ban in Russia. Binance is launching a $1 billion Binance Smart Chain fund to push the adoption of the Binance Smart Chain. Jaguar Land Rover is now trialing using blockchain technology to ensure that they can trace leather supply chains by creating a digital twin of leather supply on the blockchain so they can track the movement of leather throughout a supply chain. Stripe, which previously dumped the support for cryptocurrency in 2018, is building a team to create products that support cryptocurrency. We also, by the way, this is just the rumor, expect that soon Elon Musk will be accepting Bitcoin again now that Bitcoin is no longer mined uh, to a substantial degree in China. 
Total value locked in DeFi as of October 14th is now $95 billion. And folks, the volume, the seven day volume on NFTs is going nuts. Mikaverse NFTs are taking the lead. There are 8,888 Mikas inspired by the Japanese Mika universes that uh, traded with a total trading volume of $84 million in the last seven days. Obviously, eights are a particular uh, positive number in the Japanese or Asian cultures. And the uh, goal is to actually create real-world experiences for these Mikas. Mutant cats. There are 9,999 mutant cats that are mutated thanks to diseases that they have caught. And you can get yourself one of these NFTs, but you'll be competing because seven-day volume is at 21 million. Both of these beating CryptoPunks coming in at just $15 million of volume within the last seven days. All of these, of course, digital representations of artwork. Now, many folks are seeing cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin, as an escape from the drama around the crisis of Evergrande, China, inflation, the Fed, and other fears around money printing that we have in America and throughout the modern world. And not even the modern world, the unmodern world as well. And as a result, we have a lot of options that are being traded in a very bullish direction for Bitcoin. Options traded in the last 24 hours reflect a big surge in options. And these are usually institutional since we don't have easy access to options, though some platforms do offer options. $70,000 call options for early November are pretty are particularly popular for Bitcoin right now, as well as, wait for it, $100,000 calls for the end of December. Jack Dorsey tweeted some crypto, or I should not say crypto. Jack Dorsey tweeted a cryptic message. It was literally just 705,742, which is interesting because shortly after Jack tweeted that, block number 705,742 was minted after that tweet. He did say 117 short thereafter. So maybe this is a price prediction. Maybe this is something about that block getting minted or he's calculating how many millions of dollars he personally lost by not investing in Pinterest before PayPal got to them or maybe saved. Then, uh, <laughs> oh, geez, folks, this is just, this is ridiculous. The cells, you know what? Let's at this point, let's just take a little breather here. Cause there's just, there's so many pieces of good news here. This is ridiculous. Um, like we said, Bitcoin to the moon, crypto to the moon right now, but Let's just throw in some negative catalysts here, and then we'll surround it with some more good. The Bank of England! Boo! Say that, well, members of the Bank of England say that crypto poses a threat unless it's regulated soon, saying that a massive collapse in crypto asset prices is plausible and compares to the risks of the early dot-com era. Remember how many companies disappeared in the early dot-com era? And it begs the question, and it's worth asking yourself this question. Do you believe that in your lifetime, you will see a dot-com era style recession caused by cryptocurrencies? Current Bitcoin size, by the way, is double that of the subprime debt market before the 2008 financial crisis. At the same time, some of the inflationary fears are slowly, definitely more persistent than transitory, but slowly starting to subside, such as prices for containers coming down, and a fear that are we potentially just entering peak media, or have we already hit peak media for cryptocurrencies, at least in a short-term relative time frame, thanks to these Bitcoin futures ETFs. The Celsius network, back to positive catalysts, the Celsius network, just reached a $3 billion private equity valuation by raising $400 million in capital. Over there, you can earn interest by holding your cryptocurrency, similar to what you can do over at BlockFi. If you want to earn interest and get up to $250 totally for free, consider going to metkevin.com slash BF. It's metkevin.com slash BF to earn up to $250 totally for free by opening an account over at BlockFi and transferring over some crypto. metkevin.com slash BF. Trading volumes, by the way, through the roof, especially on Bitcoin, JP Morgan pays, uh, put together this table here. This is as of December 14th, before the latest uh, run-up that we've actually seen here in Bitcoin. But take a look at this. Bitcoin, 
on a one-week change having a substantially larger trading volume than uh, the other coins along with uh, Litecoin. But uh, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Uniswap all down between 10 and 28% in terms of one-week trading volume. However, if we look at a year-over-year -year trading volume, it's really Bitcoin that's at about a 23.9% trading volume aligning with Ethereum's 23.6% trading volume. Dogecoin, well, obviously year over year up 1600%, not a surprise. Litecoin up 29%, very similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum. And Ethereum Classic taking 133% of trading volume. It's pretty incredible. Now, what about that $150,000 price target? Well, that actually came from a survey referenced by the Stack Fund, uh, where they referenced the Aluna.social group on Twitter running a poll wondering what will Bitcoin's price be in December 2021, and suggesting that more people think Bitcoin will be above 150000 per coin by the end of 2021 than people think it will be under 60000 that's despite that the fact that we just barely broke over 60,000 and we're barely trying to reach our supports and stay at supports. And so with that said, I want to know from you, what do you think Bitcoin is going to be worth by the end of 2021? Are you buying and hodling now? Are you waiting for an opportunity to buy the dip? Or are you not convinced yet? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, make sure to go to metkevin.com slash BF to get your up to $250 in free crypto from BlockFi.